Hello everybody, it's Paul Neeson with the Raw Life Health Show and I am so excited because I have this. It's a tri-field meter, a model 100XE. And on my website, I, I really try to put things on there that work and I believe in. And I just put this on my website, rawlife.com, because I've always heard about EMFs. I never thought my house would be too bad with the EMFs. Uh, I'm, I'm getting this smart meter taken out of my house. All the houses pretty much today are getting smart meters that are being put on the house. It's not smart because it just raises the, the EMFs around the house. If you have any wires going around in your backyard that are going right over your house, Chances are the EMFs are pretty high, but that's outside. But what about inside? Well, I got this EMF reader. It's a trifold EMF reader. It, so this is the tri-field reader right here. And you see the dotted line. And if it's under three, that's the European standard for healthy and or for okay, considered okay. And if it's anywhere in that red, it's considered not healthy. And then you have a little, a little line that's going to go across the meter and it's going to check things out. So basically, when you turn it on, uh, you see the line moving up and down here but you put it on the right setting and when you walk around and you start seeing you see there it is within three and even four or five would be somewhat not as bad as if it's going off the chart so here we were going around the house and we had to move our furniture around because the spot where our couch was where we sat most times I'm going to slowly show you here what happens to the meter when you get to this spot And if you look at the meter now, it's going all the way to 8 to, to 9, and sometimes it'll even go up to 10. And the reason why this is like this is because on the other side of this wall is my fuse box for my house in the bathroom. And I didn't know that, and so this is where my couch was, and this is where I sat most of the time. So most of the time I was exposing myself to these EMFs. I would have never known that if I didn't get this reader. So I went around the house and I looked at other areas. I just moved the couch to a safer spot and I checked uh, the cell phones with it and so on but besides just the cell phone alone I found all the spots in my house especially the bedroom is most important where I would sleep because I heard my friend who has one of these he actually they put a meter in, in his house a smart meter which is right on the other side of the wall from where he sleeps and you want to make sure there's very little to no EMFs in the room and it should be on zero in your room well we sleep right next to an electrical outlet and we tested it and it was on zero so thankfully so if not we would have either had to have moved our bed or or got done something took out the electrical outlet uh, but this meter is really going to help you. you can use it indoors or outdoors and i definitely highly recommend people get this now i'm going to interview a couple of people about this and i want you to see these interviews right now i'm going to put the link below the video if you want to get one of these machines it runs on a simple battery and it'll last a very long time we are we, we try to shut off our wireless in our house if we could or at least find a spot where it's not too high but even more important we try to stay wired not wireless if something is wireless chances are you're getting some of the emfs or a good amount of the emfs especially if it's touching your body like the bluetooth headphones and just the cell phones in general and all the other wireless things people always ask me how come i don't have a smartphone because it's not smart where's my ipad and my ibook and all this no even our child who likes to use uh, some of those wireless technology we make sure she sits away from them and she's not up close to them everything from your tv set that is wired in your house all the way to the things that are wireless that you might use on a regular basis can ultimately cause harm and the studies are coming out more and more of the, the rise in tumors and cancers in people and there's a direct connection between i believe and studies will reveal the high emfs on a consistent basis in our health so the first step in protecting yourself because there's a lot of things you can do to protect yourself but the first step is to find out where the worst spots are and avoid them and that's what this meter is great for so i'll put the meter the link below to get it and you could also uh, check out these videos with more information if you have any comments or questions post them below the video craig summers everybody say hello craig say hello to hey. the real life audience <laughs> hello everybody uh, Craig has uh, just so much information. He's the author of a book called The Raw Food Bible. I've, I've done interviews with him before, but we're talking about a specific thing uh, on today's show. What we're talking about is electromagnetic radiation, which is invisible, and people can't sense that it's there. Even people who've told me that they were uh, sensitive, I've done tests with them to try to find the sources in a room, and they were unable. It was back in the 1990s when I was at a lecture at Earth Save New York where there was a woman.
woman named Mae Dooley, and she gave an hour-long presentation on electromagnetic radiation, and she brought out a Gauss meter, that is G-A-U-S-S, to show us the electromagnetic radiation that was actually uh, around in that room. So basically, wherever you have electricity, there is a chance for an electromagnetic field. And this electromagnetic field can be safe if it's low. And we can live in harmony with the electricity around us. We just need to know where it is, where the high fields are, and avoid those high fields at times when we're um, going to be in one spot. So that particular spot where you're sleeping, for instance, for many of us, it's about a third of our life. Or where you're working, maybe it's 40 hours a week. If you're in a high electromagnetic field or, or EMF area for that amount of time, it could be making you tired or causing different symptoms. Uh, cancer is also on the list of symptoms that can appear from too much electromagnetic radiation. Great. Basically, it's uh, if anyone wants to look it up more on Google or anything, it's known as dirty electricity is, uh, is uh, one of the references that it's commonly known as. And as I read up to, on this all, a lot and people kept telling me, uh, I never really was fully convinced. And uh, I wanted to be convinced. And I don't know about people say they sell these little things you could stick to your cell phone and help. And and maybe they work, maybe they don't. But I always said that's that's not wise because it gives people a full sense of security. They could use their cell phone more, and it creates more of a problem. Just get rid of your cell phones, people, if you can, or just hold it in your hand away from your head and so on. So I'm going to put a picture up right now of, of, of this little thing that's going to change everyone's lives i know it will it's called a tri-field meter i'll put a picture up on the screen right now uh, definitely again of the best thing is to avoid it just like we avoid unhealthy things when we eat avoid the hot spots and 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 you know so that's why we got this and i'm so this is coming everywhere with me i'm excited and honestly what i love about this the most is I'm a simple guy. I don't like all these buttons. And, and I looked online and I had so many expensive ones with all these bells and whistles. No, this is just you turn the switch and I love that needle. And it's just so great. And uh, I can't thank you enough for, for letting me know more about this. Now, uh, we have our guest today, Dr. Alfonso. Dr. Alfonso, how you doing? I'm doing great. Good uh, to be with you guys again. Uh, Dr. Alfonso, you are... Uh, I don't want to say expert, but I want to say expert in uh, electromagnetic <laughs> field technologies. And, and today I want to talk to you about exactly that. Uh, the, it's known as the EMFs, electric magnetic field. You know, I've been studying this for quite some time. And just in the last couple of years, there's more and more evidence, uh, like the bioinitiative report that came out in 2012. And, you know, after you're reading that and you realize how it's affecting the body, this becomes, I think, one of the biggest threats to our health we have to deal with now. So with a lot of our uh, wireless stuff and these cell phones, since they're using waves that are very similar to the f waves that are in our body, like our brain and our nervous system and our cells, that means because of the cyclone action of the resonance, information can be broadcast from those EMFs, the man-made ones, to our body. And what that basically does on a, on a bottom line is it messes with the energetic system's communication. And if you mess with that communication, that manifests into uh, the cells. So now the cellular communication is going to be wrong. This is nothing new. It's been going on a long time. Exactly. Now, tell us uh, about the uh, the EMF, the, the reader, the tri the trimeter reader. Tell us about that because you, know, you you told me about this. I got this. I measured things in the house. The, right away, I switched out my keyboard. Uh, oh, great. Uh, yeah, yep. right away, I switched out my keyboard, and I'm already getting my radiation-free headsets. I'm getting rid of the headset. And, uh, but but tell, us, tell us about it because this is something – that people need to know more about, and I'm making them available. I have them for sale now on my website because uh, I want to make sure people can get this. So tell us about this. Great. Yeah, there's uh, what we call a tri-field meter, and I have one right here, and Paul's probably going to show you that. Um, just for, you know, normal everyday things like you and me, 
uh, we probably only need to get maybe two, three different types of meters. Uh, this is the first one I recommend for most people because it can measure uh, three different types of fields. And you remember I was saying that all EMFs can really be broken down into those four. Uh, in a way, you can almost use that to measure the four. Uh, the difference is every meter is going to have positives and negatives. This one is probably one of the cheaper ones that you can get that will measure most things that are called EMFs or run on magnetic uh, electric um, waves. And that's going to include most of your things that plug in in the house. Sure. Well, basically, it's going to find the hot spot around people's houses and the spots they should avoid. I mean, I just found the spot where my couch was, and on the other side of the wall was my fuse box in the house. And I never right. imagined it was like that was the worst spot in the house to be sitting. And I moved my right. couch immediately after getting this. And if I didn't have this, I wouldn't have known that. Yeah. I mean, when it really comes down to it, the best thing is um, you either limit your exposure, uh, and that's not always necessarily the best because um, obviously the less is the better, or you find a, what's the safe distance. Um, you know, a lot of things that put out these high EMFs or even radio waves, you start moving away even a couple inches, sometimes it, the reading automatically drops. Or a foot away, and I'm sure you probably experienced that with your couch and the other things. Sure. Sometimes you don't have to move away very far for you to be in a safe range. So if you can find ways to bring distance from that device and then uh, limit your exposure when you can't, is usually the best. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, uh, I think we got the information we needed about EMFs, and I want everyone to take this seriously, do your research, and get this tri-field meter. I highly recommend it. I mean, I, I know it's definitely helped us already. We moved the furniture around to get our couch away from that <laughs> hot spot. All right, everybody, there it was. You saw the interviews. You saw the people. Let me stop standing over here, and let me stand where it's safe. And... I can't stress, it's not food, you're not going to eat this, but I can't stress how important it is to find out where the hot spots are in your house and avoid them. And the best way you can do it is, I believe, with this trifold meter. And so check it out. Here's the link. And until then, the link's under the video. Have a great day and a great raw life. Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life. Brighten up your life